Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on! Brown now, relatively late in the shot clock, spins, floats it up and floats it in. Boy, the Cavs bench is vehemently claiming that that was a walk. We've never seen them since playing back in 2018. Floor, and that's where they get so many threes. Oh, what a highlight! Man, give it up to Robert Williams. What a pass by Horford. He's breaking that down, looking at a fading shot clock. As Garland knocks in the three. Man, he's hot hands. Got a good set feet. Good shot. He'll zigzag his way halfway down the lane. His floater is true. Mitchell now has 34 and is back to a one-point game. Toward Brown, wheels his way down the lane, floats it up, and floats it in. DM, and the crowd goes wild. That's what they do. Donovan Mitchell, what a finish. With it, up ahead to Tatum, to the rim. Smart to see him make the steal. Back to Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown, you can do that? Yes, he does. What a finish. Tatum, step back three. You bet. Jason Tatum, a superstar player. Crowd while favored for the Tatum and Horford, the better veteran teams. They all loved it and they enjoyed it. Lucky luck. Mitchell on the attack, soft tosses it in. If you've never seen this finish, well, that's the biggest part of a drive you ever see. Bring of the game in Boston five nights ago. Mitchell to the basket, draws a foul, puts it up and in, a circuit shot by Donovan Mitchell, and he has a chance for the three-point play. That's what they all do. Donovan Mitchell, a biggest drive effort. Yeah, I've got good eyes on him. They always say, count it and one. That's for him. Cavs, Celtics, next on 2K Sports. Hello everyone, Son of Beast here, and we are back for another Conference Finals of 2K23. This time, the Cavs already won against the Celtics in Game 5, but now they're back home. Will they win it again and send off to Game 7? If they don't, then there might be one way they could find out for Celtics to win the whole thing. They may win and then try to beat the next fair team to win it all. But, without any questions out there, what will Donovan Mitchell do? Will he try to make another saving ability to try to keep him out? Or will the Celtics crush him with a bunch of scoring down track? And move on to the NBA Finals of 2K23. Well. One way we'll sell down to this one, and we'll keep it from here to give it up the run. And as we're being said, we'll find out how this will come in for our wishes. Now standing by, I will have is Kevin Arlen along with Greg Anthony, and right now we have we have across here is Doris Burke. That will be the last one here to bring on in game number six at Rocket Mortgage Fieldhouse, and David Aldrich will be also there as well. Let's get started, guys. Guys, it's all yours. Enjoy your sixth game. Win or go home for Cleveland. Here's one way. Enjoy. Six. 
at center. Michael Williams the third. At the other shooting guard in position. Kaylin Brown. And your small four position on the team in the guard. Jason Taylor. Your Boston Celtics head coach of the game, Joe Mazzula. Smart misses. And we're going to play for the 
one of three that Akuna has heard this one so far. And here's Kirkland for three. Mitchell outside. Goes back up. Allen trying to break free. And he's set up. Number 42, Al Warford. His first. First team. First team. Second 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 team. Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and like other stars takes on more of a load in the postseason. First free throw is good. It's an interesting time of the season. Some teams are getting ready for the playoffs, and other teams are thinking about off-season strategy, what they're going to do, and they're not going to play in the postseason. Two completely different lanes to go in. Yeah, at this point, the decision has to be made. Are you going to go 1-2-3 Cancun, or are you going to make a <laughs> run for the title? Are we going to get our squad lined up for next year? There's so many decisions right now, and now is the time to make it. And it's a lot more fun to think about the playoffs. You've been on both sides of it. You don't do the 82 to not get the postseason. That's why you play in all those games. Well said. Now oh, here is Orford. He gives the team some steady offense. A bit under 10 points a game. Shoots over Mobley. Orford no luck. Cleveland's gone 0-2 from the A-Bay. Okoro passes to Mobley over Orford. to the league right now with a nice jump. And the ball out of bounds. Cavaliers ball. And just under two and a half minutes elapsed here in the first. Pass to Okoro. Now here's Mitchell. Outside Garland. Over Smart. Rebound by Williams. I don't know if he got in his own head there or what, because the defense can't really take credit for that mess. Back to Brown. Over Allen. Second chance effort. And it's Williams. Robert Williams. Trying to keep Williams off the boards, and he makes it a mission to keep possessions alive. Now the pass to Okoro. Outside Garland. Six on the shot clock. He takes it to Mitchell. Takes a three. some special will about this one here. I may be saying that Cavaliers might be facing against the next opponent team, but I have a lot of possession to take over this one here. There are so much other uh, teams that I want to see them play against, but it may be tough though, but I'm not really sure who will be playing against, so I'm not going to let that happen that much. So it's going to be very uh, hard to call because there may not be anybody that could try to keep on going. And hopefully by that case, it may be tough that everybody can try to count for. 
So at that moment, it may be too rough. I mean, I'm not sure which team we'll be playing against, but we'll have to see how this one goes. Anyway, get back into this one here, guys. And it's a completely the Here's a position for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Danny Green, Ricky Rubio, Harris LeBert, and Teddy Osman, and Diamond Wade. So many of their key players were drafted by the Boston Celtics. And Tatum and Brown at the for Danny Green. He's done it very well. Fantastic to see him, how he did. Free throw, good for Rubio. Hope that Ricky Rubio has it all in coverage out there. It might be showing it that we can definitely get up and raise it up. Complete, be back with the second. 
on 2K Sports is brought to you by Adidas.
Ruffles, the official chef of the NBA. And by American Express. Don't live life without it. It's tough to say now, but the halftime is coming up. I'll be back over here in just, just a few minutes here. But I will send it over to, over to the three guys. It'll be Owen Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, and Kenny the Jet Smith. They will be checking in now. How will they do? And I'll be back with the post game show. That will be coming up after the first half is over. Back to you guys. See you later. <laughs> This is the division for Cavaliers. Sadie Osbeck, Ricky Rubio, Harris Silver, and Demon Way. And a new group in for the Celtics. Mike Muscala is checked in for Robert Williams. Williams comes in for Al Horford. Brock and he's checked in for Brown. And it's wide in for Marcus Smart. Here's Osman. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Mike Muscala receives for three. Close to 15 points a game on average. The way he can elevate over a defender from deep, very tough to contain outside of the Here's Wade, following the three-pointer by Boston. 58 seconds left to play in the first half. Launches it. Number 13, McCall Brockett. His first son, Malcolm Brockett. First team foul. And the Celtics score. Looking like the Celtics of old. Yeah, always a tough squad when I was playing. And it's looking like... At the line, for Cleveland Cavs. Harris, Slover. Don't be surprised. At the line, for Shirley, too. Very soon. Very soon. For the Cavaliers. Pritchard, he's checked in for Malcolm Brogdon. Substitution for the Cavaliers. Number 14, Danny Green. Seconds left here in the second. Outside Williams. Takes it to Tatum. Pass to White. Pocket six. Down low. And it's Williams. Great Williams. Just from Derek White. In a game like this. Well, you know it's going to fire up, Greg. Everybody on that bench. And that's it for the first And that's the end for the first half of the period. Cleveland Cavs, 26. And Boston Celtics, 25. Time for 25 in the third quarter. Soon to follow. I'm here on 2K Sports.
All right, let's hit him down. Guys, it's all yours. The Sports Halftime Show. Greetings to each and every one of you watching at this very moment. Uh, I'm Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is here. Jack is here. One half is behind us. Welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. It's Cleveland out on top at halftime. They lead by one. Kenny, give us your tip. The Prince scoring has been a big key for them. They came in with energy, and they were able to get the start of a real break because of the way they performed. That's the kind of production every team hopes to have from the second team. And Shaq, you know, it's your job. I'm awesome. I think they let the game come to them. They haven't got to the foul line in the That's an area where they're getting beat. I like to see them press the action a little bit more. And that'll do it for us. The third quarter about to begin with Kevin Harlan standing by. We'll catch you on the flip side. Not that bad. Thanks, guys. <laughs> now back over to the game. Kevin, all you. Here they come, Kevin. It's your pen. Yeah, we've got a second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. You know, guys, Jason Tatum has really been making it happen. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. I like how they came into this one with the game plan, and they're just going out and executing it. Terrific job. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. Defense. It's up here in the post. Defense. Donovan Mitchell is up. Barely going. And it's Wade in at the three spot. And that's the group for J.B. Bickerstaff as we begin the second half. Now, here's Brown. He's fouled. Three on foul. He's going to the first. 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 So after making the first, he goes one for two. And one thing that stands out about this Celtics is their defensive abilities, and they've got a lot of skill on that end of the floor. Now, here's Akoro. He's been quiet so far, still no points in the game. with the ball for Boston. A two-point game. The right defense, it's been terrific. This Boston team, GA, certainly has a talent for holding back their opponent's shots and really defending well. And Kevin, they put a lot of energy into pressuring shoots, making sure guys can't find easy looks. They don't want to give away anything for free. Now, here's a Akura, following the miss by Al Huff. Master Garland. Shot clock at six. Jacks up a three. It's hauled in by Brock. Well, the Celtics shooting at a 40% all in all for the game. A three from Tatum. No good on that one. Cavaliers do it the other way. On the wing, Mitchell. Outside Garland. Allen kicks to Mitchell. Some nice passing by Cleveland here. Good work defensively by Smart. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. Excellent D of Wayne Fowler. He had perfect position to alter that shot. And his presence as a scorer, it just has a positive effect for the rest of the team. He's a fallback option whenever they need him. Now here's Allen. His scoring has been there on a regular basis. He's averaging more than 14 points a game. Oh, no good. And they're one of 
score here to start the second half. Garland against Smart. Over Garland. Smart misses. The Cavaliers have been just one of their first four shots to fall since coming from the lot to break. Allen finds Garland. Back to Allen. For three, Mitchell. The Cavaliers again can't hit. Now the half time, not the way you want to execute. Just one of five from the field. It just seems, Richard, like Robert Williams is a guy willing to do anything to help his team. And there's a whole lot he can do. His defense has never been a question. He can dish it as aggressive rebounder. Jerry! Allen! Tommy Mitchell with the assists. Using that that wingspan to his advantage. Austin Trick. Smart kicks to Tatum. Third quarter of basketball here in just a little bit of three and a half minutes going by. Smart misses. Smart missing on that last three point. Brown against Garland. That one jams. Brown jams. Time out for the summer spot. Time out, Cleveland. Time out, call the Cavaliers. In addition to going over the game plan and making whatever necessary adjustments have to be made, Greg, this time and also the time for players to get rehydrated. For the first time, we've seen the eight or eight. Plenty of basketball still to be played here, and they have to get recharged. That's a great point. Without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a whole game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have got to be hydrated. So like I just said here before, if you have your tickets down here for the Anime Insanity and BFDI experience, you know, get ready because it's getting there close for the month, and then we are about to get started to get right into this. So if you're in it, it's time to find out what it is. And plus, it is going to be the happening for today, and we might be finding out what will be to keep your eyes on, on the flip side. Now back to Kevin. Cleveland's getting blank from three point land so far in the third. Still cold. Two minutes remaining in the third quarter period. Two minutes. Mobley left side on the wing. Green. Six 
16 seconds left in the third quarter. On the wing, Williams. Nice ball moved by Boston. And there's the pass to White. On D. And he got that. That's the end of the first quarter. The third quarter the Cleveland Cavaliers 35. And Boston Celtics. The 32. And Cleveland Cavaliers get you back to the end. We're almost done with this one. Four quarters underway. Cleveland Cavs to win it. If they don't, then Celtics move on. We'll be right back after this. It's time to present your State Farm assist of the game. Guys? Of the game. And how about the floor general shift right here? I mean, showing us why they're always in good hands when he's the man in charge. He does do a great job steering the ship for them out right there and keeping the offense clicking. It's the fourth quarter! Get up! And let's make you hear noise! What a great day, uh, Molly. <laughs> I like that. Williams finds Horford. Here's Pritchard, defended by Allen. Taken no good. Cavaliers leading by six. Outside Garland. Mitchell passes to Mobley. Back to Mitchell. Six on the shot clock. Up to go from 14. Garland, no good. And they're up right now, but it hasn't been because of him. He's really struggled on offense. Okay, and Richard for three. Oh, Richard's got himself going with the triple, his first basket of the game. And you have to like how they're moving the ball right now. Snappy passes to ready shooter. It's basketball 101. But boy, is it working. Here's Mitchell. Time is Mitchell! Rejection. And boy, did he get up quick to reject that shot. That's as fundamental as defense gets. Third foul. Third foul. Second person. Second team foul. When you allow a guy to get right to the line. That line for the Celtics. Great. 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 Well, there's a lot of scoring breakdowns over here. Fast break points was 10, and four three-pointers were giving up the opportunity run. Trying to keep it back in there. And the first one at the line is good. And let me tell you this one, Peyton Pritchard wasn't the only player since he was definitely making a switch here for me every team, and now he's with the Boston Celtics. Because number 11, they were almost going to get rid of that one with Kyrie Irving in Jersey, but they still kept it as the same. That one falls, so he's both of them. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing the line. Pass to Mitchell. Back to Garland. He kicks it to Mitchell. To the left wing. Here's a couple. This ball foul on Cleveland. Jared Allen. He's third first set. Second team foul. 
New substitution for Boston Celtics. Number 36, Marcus Smart. Celtics trail by three. Out to the way. Mobley against Horford. No good there. Excellent D there from Allen. Cleveland's gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth. Defensive foul for 36. Marcus Smart. It's the first personal. First team foul. At the line for the Cavaliers. Donovan Mitchell. The line for one. Free throw drop for Mitchell. And the Celtics with possession here. They trail by six. Passes at the front. Two Cleveland foul. Number 31, Jared Out. He's four personal. 13 foul. Line for Boston. Jalen Brown. Line for two shots. You're keeping an eye on too many fouls called on Jared Allen. He might have to sit out if he gets an R1. And he makes the first. Can't mess up on Jalen Brown because you don't want that one to get out of here. And Brown drops them both. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now, oh, here's Garland to the left side wing. Okoro kicks to Garland. Here's Mitchell. Rebound, Boston. Williams has got 10 rebounds here tonight. So happy. Jason Tatum. Tatum. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. But he is a sensational scorer. I can understand that. He gets into a rhythm. Now, here's Akoro. Garland, the pass to Akoro. Mobley outside. The dish to Akoro. The three from Garland. They got it by the Summits. Got to find easier shots when they're already struggling. That's not the best. Jason Taylor. This. Marble Williams. Outside Garland. Mitchell outside. Back to Garland. Here's a call. And another miss by Cleveland. And here's Taylor. Timeout Cleveland. Tatum's got the lead up to two now for Boston. Timeout called the Cavaliers. One of the stories here, Jason Tatum. Getting it done today. Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. Boom, that's Barnes. AT&T 5G. Fast, reliable, and secure. Boston Celtics are a very tough team since they've seen them playing each other in 2018. But not for the Heat and the Celtics. But you know about the last one in the first round. That was not that. But it was only the Eastern Conference Finals that only happened there for once. So for that, I have nothing to say about it. But this was a very tough one that everyone cares for. Time for your New Balance player of the game. And now, let's 
present our New Balance Player of the Game, Marcus Smart. And the way he's made his mark with his work inside, he's just been a smasher tonight. Always moving, getting to the basket at will, and just seemingly taking advantage of a team. The year is ready to for three minutes. Celtics are moving on to the finals. Let's find out what happens. Mitchell looking it over. Takes the three. No time has been called by Cleveland, only one timeout remaining for Boston. If they get another two free throws, and if they get a free pointer in, then we are going to overtime in a sixth game. Let's find out how this happens, just like it does for the Knicks and Cavs 
for the first round. That's their 16 foul. The line for Sonix. Don't be smart. Line for two. He might make the first, or he might miss the second. Or he might make both shots. It's the first, that will put them up by two. They might be getting there, just 1.3 seconds. This could be it. So he makes a second, and now they're gonna go. Doing all he can to give them the edge, pulling their lead out to three points. And it's all about the three right here. We'll see what they can do. Three player is a must. And so it's Boston sweeping by. That's the end of the game. Your final score, Boston Celtics. That's the path, 53-50. This is the kind of thing Pressure was at its highest. And Chance Brown has turned it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Thanks very much, Jason. Congrats on the win. It was a slow start on offense, so what got you guys going in the second half? Uh, you know, Coach told us we didn't deserve to make any shots. You know, we were too tense. We weren't having any fun. Uh, you know, we tried to stop them in the second half. The guys were smiling. We didn't stop them. Well, it's good to know that you smile to make shots. I'll keep that in mind. Congrats, man. Back to you. Thank you, David. Great interview once again. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for us. This is Kevin Harlan saying thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Time for the post game show. All right. Thank you so much, Sir Kevin, and it all to Cruz. And now you know with the post game show, I have somebody else here. And this time, I have Clover with me. Hey, hey, Clover, congratulations for the part of the team here for the 2K Sports. It looks like the team is on its way to the finals. Yeah, I know. But I guess then there might be one way that they can definitely try to take them over it. You know how they feel? They feel like they want to win the whole thing. But I felt sad about the real game, but not for the 2K Sports one. It's lucky. <laughs> I, I understand that did that happen already, but that's the more important way how they did. So how, how do you think will Boston do if they played against the, one of the winning teams? Who do you think will it be? Well, I might be thinking there might be one way. I guess I'm going to have to go with Denver, the mile high team. They're very that tough. Top rated of the team. The first seed matchup against the second seed matchup. Well... It might be the one way that we can definitely do that. Do you know? Because they really, really wanted to get it done. Hopefully in that case, they might do it. For one way or until another. Uh, I guess um, you might be saying that it could be true. Maybe the honesty could be happening to yours. Well, you'll see. Here's how we did with the total statistics. 39 for the field goals for Boston. 28 three-pointers for Cleveland Cavaliers. 83% for the free throws for the Boston Celtics with fast break points, points in the paint, and second chance points, 16, 32, and 6. And the bench points was 18 and 16 assists for Cleveland Cavaliers. They might be on a higher topic already. They're really doing really well. Offense and defense are just going very good. A lot of their rebounds. That was 8 and 26. Two steals remained here for the Boston Celtics and three blocks for Cleveland Cavs. Only two and three turnovers, but three turnovers was been a little too high, but two is the winner for Boston Celtics and two points off. Yeah, that was the one that I always knew was for, but they were doing great. I can't keep up with the win. 14 fouls for Boston. Four dunks performed. Eight biggest lead for Cleveland Cavs and 12.55 was their time of possession. They only had one timeout to remain for Boston, but they didn't want it to do it. Because at that point, it's done. Well, I know. A very tough one that everybody really counts for. They gotta know it. Get the big deal away. 
And that will do here for the end of the Eastern Conference Finals. So, that's probably that. Yeah, I know. But I'm happy to see the Celtics playing in the Finals with 2K23. Not for the real game, of course. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I understand that one here. Let's have your third star. Alright, thank you. The third star I'm going to have to give up a great look at the offense run. Not for everybody, but all it does, Jalen Brown. Seven points, two rebounds, three assists, only had a three, only had one three-pointer missed, but two out of seven field goals were totally accurate. Fourteen performance run and one dunk. Now, here's the second star I will choose. You take it. The second star on the other hand, I'm going to give it off to Jason Tatum with 23 points, a block, a steal, an assist, only eight rebounds in a row, two dunks were before, 26 performance run, 11 out of 20 field goals. That is a lot, and he's doing really well. 23 points was the biggest part of the game in Game 6. That was all it did turn out, your favorite guy. Yep, definitely true. And now for number one, it goes to Donovan Mitchell. Yeah, Donovan Mitchell was doing really well. He's excellent too. Just did one dunk, along with 26 performance run, but it was 9 out of 14 field goals. But it was 24 points, one rebound and one assist. Hopefully he'll be ready for next season for anything. The fifth seed will be back again. If there's a new changeoff, well, there may not be. Because of Miami Heat, they really definitely do say that Cleveland Cavs will be the next stop to take from here if they can do it. If they can't, well, there probably may be another way that they could try and go for an answer back. Well, hopefully there is. I'd be keeping an eye on it. Just like everybody. And especially they do. So that will it be doing it for the Eastern Conference Finals. Thank you for watching and peace out folks for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. And if you're here for the next game, stay tuned. We've got the Nuggets and Lakers at Crypto.com Arena at 10.30 p.m. That will be the next one happening. It's very late, but don't worry. If you make it there in time, that will be good. Well, I gotta say, farewell, Cleveland, Ohio. And welcome to the finals, Boston Celtics, the lucky team. <laughs> yeah, that's what I've always could definitely say that. Anyways, see you later on the other side for the Lakers and Nuggets of the Western Conference Finals. Win or go home for Los Angeles. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.